Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists veterinary associates with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about what is a draw in a veterinary associate employment contract. So, a draw is related to compensation. Basically, it means how much money you are going to make each month in some way. So, uh, let's kind of talk about the different compensation models and then when a draw would come into play. Uh, so, Usually, the vet would have a guaranteed base for at least the first year or two of their contract. It's very unlikely that you would come into a new employment opportunity and just have straight productivity. So in, in the veterinary arena, it would it's almost always calculated through net collections. And so net collections are any of the money that the practice receives for the vet's personally performed services. So whatever they collect that's what would be considered net collections for that vet and so uh, one kind of common way of doing it is let's just say you have a one-year guarantee uh, and the reason why they do that is it takes time to build up a practice now uh, i guess it's depending upon what specialty you're in but for the most part let's just say you're a, a general vet uh, you're not just going to hop into a practice and have an immediate you know client base it takes a while to build up. So they'll give you a guaranteed base in year one. And then after year one, they'll switch you probably to some kind of productivity slash net collections model. And so that's when a draw would come into play. Um, the kind of the, uh, the veterinary industry utilizes the pro-sal method commonly and P-R-O-S-A-L. Uh, and it's a, kind of a methodology for a veterinary practice to pay their employees, which allows them, you know, at least a small profit margin. Uh, and, and in that method, they will basically take a projection of what your net collections would be. And then the vet would then receive a smaller percentage of that per month. And then there would be kind of a reconciliation or true up at the end of the year. And so uh, let's just go through some examples. So let's say the vet's making 120 thousand per year uh, in their first guaranteed base you know year and then they actually collected that that amount as well well under pro sal they would maybe knock it back to 80 percent of the of you know you would make ten thousand in that scenario per month and so they would say all right we're going to knock it back to 80 percent and then the vet is going to get a draw of eight thousand dollars per month and so throughout the year, they'll make 8,000 per month. And then at the end of the year, they're going to take whatever the total net collections were for that vet versus what was paid out. So in that scenario, you know, 8,000 times 12, 96,000. Uh, and then if there is a difference, meaning if they collected more, they would then get a percentage of those net collections. Uh, now, the downside is if you are in a negative balance, meaning if you collected less than they paid out, they generally are going to make you pay that back over time. And so what they'll normally do is they'll take however much you're in the deficit for, so even let's just say it's, I don't know, $6,000, over the next three pay periods, they might take 2,000 out of your paycheck until you're back to zero. Uh, is that fair? I mean, it just depends. Obviously, no one wants to employ any employee that doesn't cover their own salary and expenses. Now, if there are some underlying problems as to why a vet is not as productive, and this is really big in the vet industry right now due to lack of staffing. So if you can't get the vet techs, if you can't get the front office staff, if, you, if they can't have an efficient workflow, and the vet is doing all of the things that they didn't have to do before, uh, that will slow them down and their collections are going to decrease. So you, you, just as a side note, you need to make sure there's some kind of language in your employment agreement that states the, the veterinary practice will provide you with proper support uh, in order to make your practice efficient. Uh, back to the draw. So... Uh, it could change over time. So let's say, you know, you were, you had the 120 base and then you moved into kind of a, a decreased percentage per month as your draw, but then you collected 160,000. Well, then they would probably bump up 
your draw to 120,000 and then they would do another reconciliation at the end of a year. Uh, th there are a ton of different ways uh, to calculate compensation in a veterinary associate contract. That's probably the most common way when it comes to productivity. Um, but I also find many vets are just paid a straight base, no matter what, from year one to year five. Um, and that makes it pretty simple, to be honest. Uh, all right. Well, uh, if you have any questions about your employment contract, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us through our website, ShellyLaw.com. Uh, once again, my name is Robert Shelley, and I appreciate you watching this video. Thanks.